and we are live good morning good afternoon good evening and welcome to bwtm sports this as they say is the main event of the evening we've had earlier on josh sandland talking about his career at heavyweight we've then had tom little talking about his career and him fighting uh joe joyce at the o2 on the undercard of hey bellew the rematch and now we have sir edward chambers eddie how are we doing i'm good how are you i'm good it's been a long time eddie yeah it's been a while <laughs> i think it's been uh had a so. Yeah, uh, the last time we spoke was just before the Gerald Washington fight, and then after that, you kind of went missing, and it was a kind of a bizarre event. Can you talk us through what happened with all that? Oh, the Gerald Washington situation, it was just, you know, things at the time was a little, you know, not to my liking in a lot of, in a lot of ways when you talk about the fight and the way it was set up and the way it was scheduled, the way it was put together. Um and it was just like I it just wasn't into that situation at the moment. I didn't. I expected more. That's a, that was to me. It seemed like a more uh, better fight, a uh, bigger fight, something a little bit. You know, it, 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 okay, it was it was televised, but it was like just throwing at the tail end, like a swing situation. And you know, I've been boxing for a long time. I've been professional for a long time, and since being uh, of the elite class, I haven't seen that. And it was just like, yeah, it was, it was just, it, to me, it felt disrespectful and how things were taken, how things were ran. But, you know, at the end of the day, you're supposed to still get in and perform no matter how you feel you're being treated. And you're supposed to do what you need to do, which I didn't. And that was my fault. He, he was the better man that night. He actually came through and won the fight. So, I, 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 but I, I was baffled watching you box because it was like, what, either you, you put your hands up, you're walking forward, you take catching punches on your hands, you were never hurt. I just couldn't understand why you weren't more active. I, I didn't understand. There seemed to be no no drive, no desire. It's like, like I couldn't. First of all, I couldn't work out why, as you said, it was a swing event. That you know, this was meant to be a fight that people were looking forward to seeing you come back in a televised event. And it was almost like you're cursed. You know, every time uh, Eddie Chambers is is in an event on TV, it all seems to something seems to go wrong. I right, now we've got a situation with you with with, with Washington. It was an opportunity for you to come back and make a big statement. And then people tune in to watch you and you, you're putting your hands up. And I'm like, what's going, on? what's going on, bro? What's happening? What was going on with you inside the ring at that time? Well, I mean, like, you know, we had some things in terms of ter you know, we were talking about. We were, we were expecting to do certain things. And, you know, just confused i think the team we were just confused and more thinking about we, they were you know most of the team was just thinking about look let's get this one done you know what i mean get this fight out the way win this fight and then we'll move on to bigger better things in my mind and what i've dealt with in the past with my career is when they give you a fight like that even if you win it just sets up another one like that and another one like that until and because and, and i hate to say this and i don't want to be too public about it it's not like i'm the most Theory person when it comes to you know the boxing people and the boxing scene. Most people look at my style and guys like me. Unless I'm able to put out there that kind of a personality that Floyd Mayweather has and make people not like me, you know what I mean, in order to want to see me get beat. But then I don't have that undefeated record. You know what I'm saying? So right now, and I'm not really that popular. You know what I'm saying? As far as and having that record to make me that popular. So I really don't have anything that people really want to buy except for what certain people have said, that unexciting style. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah. So it's not like these people want me to get to that level. It's just like, hey, you know, um, he's there. Let's uh, use him. If he wins, okay, great. If he, or no, if he wins, damn, then we'll just put him in front of another killer. You know what I mean? Uh, if he wins that one up, put him in front of another one. You know, somebody who's not really, they, they like to match us up against each other. Guys who aren't, you know, uh, one, like say exciting, I want to say exciting, but not popular. So we like, cancel each other out. And it's just the way that's just the way it's been. You know what I mean? And that's fine with me and I understand that. But now I'm going to use the game and I'm going to be in boxing. Uh, and, and I'm going to use it for my benefit and not just do what other people tell me or ask me to do anymore. It's not going to happen. But you're an experienced fighter, um, Eddie. I'm, I'm only asking these questions as as a brother, as a friend. I I 
I, I just hurt for you. I mean, I really do. I remember I was having that conversation when uh, Tyson had his final preparations for um, for Chisora down in West Ham, uh, the Peacock Gym. And I remember he said, all I want is a big fight. All I want is a big fight. And I said, I'll say my prayers for you. You'll get a big fight. And what do we know? We turn around the corner, we get Gerald Washington. But what later? Like, uh, <sighs> Talking, that was like you said, it was uh, that was over what uh, that was uh, was that almost two years? Yeah, <laughs> I think yeah, huh? yeah, and you were in the UK, you were in training with Peter at the time, and you couldn't get the big fights. And we were, we were, we were offering everyone, even people that I didn't necessarily want to offer because they were more like they were friendly to me, we were good, we were offering, we were just trying to get a fight of some kind of cause, some notice, some consequence, or something to where. People would say, "Okay, yeah, we want to see him again." You know what I'm saying? That, that kind of a thing. But it, nobody bit. Nobody bit. Nobody was like, uh, nobody said, uh, "You know, it, okay, I'll do it." No one. We were we were asking as many people as we could, just throwing it out there. Well, wow. it was. It, we even offered to go fight um, South Park guy from uh, the, the Russian South Park. His name. I remember, uh, and he had a fight with Fresno Kendo. And we weren't even willing to take that flight the night before to go fight him. And we put our name in the hat. Glaskov. Yeah, of course. Up coming, huh? Glaskov you're talking about. Is it Glaskov? No, no. Not Glaskov. No. Um, uh, he was a world champ, heavyweight champion at one point. South Paul. South Paul. Uh, six foot two. Uh, um, pretty big puncher. Maskaev? Not Maskaev, no. Um, not Maskayev. Hmm. No, not. he had fights with uh, Nikolai Valuev. He had those fights with him a few, uh, like two or I think two fights with him, and that's how he got the title. I only talk about um. Oh, I know the guy. I know you like talk about. He fought. He broke. Is he broke him off? Uh, he broke him off. The one that beat Holyfield. He broke him off. No, 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 not the off. I know who you're talking about. No, no, not that guy. Shagayev. Shagayev. In the States for a while. Shagayev. Shagayev. Yes, there you go. Shagayev, yes. It was him. And he had a fight with Frez Okendo was scheduled and something happened where I think Frez got hurt or something. And they were still wanting the date and they were still looking for the an opponent, maybe you know, taking on short notice. And we were in the gym like madmen and we were like, hey, this is the opportunity of a lifetime. You know, I hate flying and all that. <laughs> And, then we were, and that was at the time I think a lot of the wars and stuff was going on with Ukraine and all. So we were like, uh, but it's like, you know, it's an opportunity. We were willing to take that flight the next day and go out there and fight for that title. But it never came. And that's just how things have been for me. You know what I mean? Because they don't look at me as like, oh, that's a, that's a good step. You know what I mean? For me to take right there. I, I know I could be. It's not like that. It, most people look at me as uh, a nuisance. You know what I mean? One of those guys that. You look at it and you say, "Well, I'll fight him, but if, only if I have to." Type of thing, you know? What yeah, I mean? yeah. And, that, and what does that do for my opportunities? My opportunities are like if, if one of those dudes say, "Okay, I'll fight him," just because you know I have no choice. And then when they fight me and I win, but then the next guy says, "Nah, I don't want that one." You know what I'm saying? And the way things are now in the heavyweight division or in, in boxing in general, you don't you won't necessarily get the fights, even if you fight your way in position. You know what I'm saying? And that's you know, and that's just it's it's difficult, and that's why. I'm saying a lot of people, even some of my supporters, some of my people are just like, oh, man, the opportunity of a lifetime, blah, blah, blah. And it's like, yeah, I guess. But it all depends on what they're offering and what they're talking about and what they want to do. I mean, this whole, you know, little thing that he did, I mean, you know, if that's what the way he wanted to go about it, that's fine if he wanted to see it. But, I mean, just come talk to me. You know what I mean? Like, I'm a, I'm, I'm not a shit talker. I don't. Yeah, sorry, for the no, you speak. No, 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 no. Speak your truth, man. You know, you know me already. Speak your truth, boy. Speak your truth. You don't have to worry. That, this is not. This is not sly sports. You speak what you would say. Right, and I, and I don't talk like that. You know what I mean. And honestly, I would be honest with you. Just like you know, that's just how I am anyway. I didn't think he did it. I didn't think he wrote that. I didn't think he did. I thought, you know, and if he did, he was doing it maybe as I thought he was doing it as a joke, and you know what I mean, just to see, you know. How I react, and maybe honestly, I didn't even take it like that at first, and I'm still not really that bothered. I'm bothered by it in a sense that you know people are sticking, people can see it, and it's just and even if on oh, as a DM, really nobody could have seen it until obviously I put it out there. But then I started thinking, oh, you know, should I be feel a little disrespected? 
You know what I mean? From from it, and what does this mean? You know, that's really the reason for getting out there. I'm just trying to find out what it means, trying to get a, a response from him. Just that way. That's it. I, to me, look, I don't care you know, one way or the other. I just want to know what it means. Well, what are you trying to do? Well, okay. Um, so so people, people are suggesting that it's racist. Now, I'm a black man, as you know, and you're a black man. And Joshua's a black man. Now, I, I, I'm quite baffled as people calling it being racist. Um, that you said it was that you're a disgrace of a black man. I, I don't know if you could call that racist. I, no, I, mean, I, I was explaining that same thing you said. The, way, the exact way, the same thing you're thinking is exactly how I was thinking when I was in. It's not that he's a is racist, a racist comment. He's just being derogatory toward me. And if if you want to call it racist, he's saying that he feels that if it is him saying it, that he feels that the black is a superior race to others. That doesn't necessarily mean it's racist and saying that others aren't nothing. He was just thinking that his is better. It's just like as a fighter, if you say, "Oh, I'm better than him," that doesn't make you a racist. <laughs> you know what I mean? That just makes you feel like you're better, and that's fine. But. I mean, I just, you know, I just feel like he's just coming at me. Right. It has nothing to do with any race issue. I feel like, and, and see, you know what? It's the media. You know, people do that. And it's, you know, it sells. You of know course it mean? sells. And I'm going to be honest. I'm going to damn what people say or how mad people may get. But the fact is, and, I, and, and look, he's saying it to me. And I'm not, it's not that I'm defending him. But I'm just saying this is what it, this is what it is versus what people are trying to make it out to be. You understand what I'm saying? It's not a race issue. Don't bring that into it. It has nothing to do with that. You know what I mean? All it is is more him just saying that I'm terrible as a fighter, maybe, or and, and I'm and I'm a disgrace to the superior <laughs> black race as an athlete, maybe. Yeah. Not as a person, because I don't care who you are, who you think you are, how much money you have. No one can necessarily say that they're a better person than me. You know what I mean? That's just not to be up for discussion. But anyway, I think maybe um, I, just don't think it's a race issue. I, I don't think it's a race issue either. And I'm saying it as a black man, I can say it as a black man. But I, I think what? That, that what, I, what I read it as one black man to another black man speaking is like, hey, you listen, you you like he said, you were a disgrace. He he may have been saying, I, I'm just if he did say that because we if he did say that inverted commas. I mean, then he's basically saying that you know you are. As a black man, you're you, you you know I don't like the sight of you. You're you're a disgrace to the, you, uh, us as black people. But that that's what he's right. kind of come across and saying. That's what I got from it. So I think, well, okay. But then I, I turned around and said, well, there are people saying uh, that that they think it's dis disgraceful. Now listen, uh, in the black community, that's something that's said quite. I've heard it said before. This guy's a sellout. That guy's an Uncle Tom. Blah 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 blah. It's been said. That's in our community. That's just talk. I'm not being politically correct. It is what it is. It happens. You understand? Like you know, you could talk to that person and say, "Oh man, you know, we as a, we as a people want to really get on and do things. Look at this guy over here making a fool of himself. That sort of stuff. We say right. things like that, and it's and, and it's it's it, we say it, but we don't look into it and 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 uh, make a big thing of it. We just say, "Oh yeah," and we move on with it. That's how we roll as people. You know, but right. when you're an outs when you're an outsider looking in, you know, like, you know this. Once if stuff like this gets out to the media, and and people they want to, you, you they have to make it more dramatic. They have to make it more like you know, oh my God, you hear what he said, and regardless of if it's said in the way, no matter you can't change his words really because it's out there in black and white. Yeah. So you can't say, oh no, he said no, it's there. It's been recorded. It's there. So whether you think it's a race issue or not, it's not. It's just not. It's just, the fact is, it's not. It's not like he said, you know, black is a superior race, white and Spanish and, and, and Asian folk are just below us, and they're not worth the skin that they, you know, that they breathe. They, 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 that's different. You know what I mean? But yeah. he didn't say that. All he said is a superior black race, and that's it. So don't make it that. This is about his attack to me. Personal. It's to you. He didn't make it. He, he this is what I don't understand. He said it to you. He did not say to, he didn't put on his Twitter statement to everybody. It was directly to your Instagram. Eddie Chambers, it was said to you. So people getting bees in their bonnet, it was said to you. Now, you're the person who's got to take offense to it. Now, let me take you back a bit in time. Do you remember the time when we spent, when um, you were chasing fights and people kept asking you about the Anthony Joshua fight? And I remember Joshua at one point saying 
uh, to get off get off his nuts and leave him alone or something like that you know yeah. something that he said to you i think along those lines something along those lines I, I can't exactly say exactly what it was but um you were chasing that fight with joshua do you think now yeah, at, the time, at the time man it was it was it was there you know it was opportunity i think it was opportunity for both of us you know what i mean it was it was uh i think it was obviously before the dylan and white fight you know what i mean so there was still some like you know what i mean there was still some uncertainty whether i guess he could step up to that level especially being that he was gonna start fighting a world level guy yeah but um you know, then it never happened, and then, you know, and the thing is, at the time, man, I swear, it was a friendly thing. Like, we even talked to each other about, you know, when and, and the possibility of it happening. And that's why this comes as a shock. You know what I mean? It's because I didn't expect, and especially it being me. Look, look it would be different if I just fought, like, three or four guys, and I've been out in the media, and I'm, I'm doing this, and I'm doing that, and I've been buying crazy with the whole boxing thing recently. Like, and I had my a win over George Washington left. That'd be different. But he's coming at me at basically when you would consider a guy right now sleep. <laughs> you know what I mean? As far as the his activity is concerned. You know what I mean? And say something like that. It's kind of weird. It's just weird. That's why it makes it hard for me to believe that it was him. But if it is, then it is. You know what I mean? Hey, let's, let's, let's talk. Let's see what, what's, what's going on with this. Let's be, let's be business-like about it. You know what I mean? That's what I'm saying. This is all good and you saying those things, that's fine. But this is a professional sport. You know what I mean? There's business tied to it. So one, one thing one thing is for sure, you can say all this stuff and a lot of people react emotionally. I have no emotion toward him. He can call everybody in my family a name and curse me and do all of this and it's not going to make me on never mind because I'm still here with my family. I'm still living my life and it's not going to affect me. I don't let stuff like that bother me. I'm just trying to figure out, okay, now the next step would be is like, what, what does this mean? Well, why are you saying this? Okay. Let's let, let, let's 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 look at this for a si let's look at this as a situation. Is it potentially that there's a voluntary on the on the on the table for Joshua? Therefore, you could be the voluntary fight. And I, mean, I, I don't know. I, don't I mean that that's one way of looking at it. That's what. And that's what. That's what. Honestly, that's what everybody, my team, and people are thinking of now. Is that there's that, but it's of all the people at this point to to come and do. There are so many more <laughs> options at this point. You know what I mean? To go and you know and take. You know what I mean? I mean there's so many more. There's so many. There's money options out there. There's a lot of things. I, it's just it to me. It's it's not that I'm 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 saying that I'm not worthy. No, I'm not saying that at all. What I am saying is it's just at this point in time. Why? Okay. You know I mean? People, Why now? people you know would, I mean? and most people would say, "Well, you feel like you're you're not where you were at one time, and that's fine." But it's still not smart because what if I am and I'm just chilling over here, and then I come out? It just doesn't look good for him. You know what I mean? And I'm just thinking. I'm thinking out loud right now. We going, you know, when and I'm just trying to understand this whole thing. You know what I mean? That's why I'm thinking it had to be a. And I'm like, you know, it had to be a fight. People would people would say, well, all right, okay, Eddie, fine, we understand you're blowing up your steam, blah blah blah. Would you fight Joshua if that was the case? Would you fight him? Just depending. First of all, I'm always open to the chance a world title fight. You know, whether I've been off or not, how do you say no to a world title opportunity? The thing would be for me though is because I can walk away from money. It's not like you know, from don't get most people will say you're crazy, but you know, what I mean, for me, money is freedom. And that's great and for most people that's what it should be anyway it's not my life um i'm happy where i'm at my life is going well i just got married um, um in a stable comfortable situation you know what i mean my wife has been wonderful to me and my uh, and my, and my, and my little stepdaughter has been great um my great friends and that i happen to be blessed to, to, to actually work with and they're making sure that i don't really necessarily want or need for anything you know, in that regard. And my team and boxing team is still there too. And we're all working together. So this right now, this kind of thing, I'm not thirsty. Trust me. I'm not sitting out here, oh man, Anthony Joshua would just send me a message. Oh my God, uh, th uh, this could be this could be my money fight. This could be my, no, I, that, 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 uh, trust me, this, that, I'm not a person that is driven by money. I am not. I'm a, I'm a person that is, is driven by happiness, man. And that's, that's, when I'm happy, I'm good. 
You know what I mean? If I ain't got to worry about nothing, that's great with the um, with the addition of this opportunity with this fight. But I'm, I'm just as happy working my way up in the cruiserweight division over the next year and getting a title shot there. I'm just as happy. And if I win a title there, I would be just as happy. Oh, well, I can't say just as happy, but I would be close to as happy as if I won one as a heavyweight, as a, as a heavyweight over at me, Joshua. But at the end of the day, I feel like I would be obviously better prepared for the cruiserweight one because I'm actually working toward that. But if this opportunity was presented to me in a, in a professional way and, and it made sense financially and also made sense athletically, absolutely. Absolutely. I, I would be uh, stepping up to the challenge. I'm, and I would look forward to it. I would be extremely gracious to the chat for giving me the opportunity. Is but, it... <laughs> Going about it this way is not necessarily how you got to do it. Anybody who knows me or have dealt with me in any way, no, all you got to do is call and say so. <laughs> that's it. Okay. Do you think it is him that sent that message? To, to be perfectly honest, I don't know what to think anymore, but you know, I don't think it was. I don't think it was, but he said a big if, if someone picked his phone up playing around and didn't think it was going to go this crazy ugh, I feel bad for him you know what I mean having to go through this but uh, you know I, I really honestly I don't think it was but I don't know because it comes from the verified account you know he was he was on the phone he was you know taking videos and enjoying his, his time I think over sea somewhere I don't know exactly where he is I don't want to say I'm not sure um and I mean, I don't. I just don't think. Why would you be doing all that? You just had a good win over another fighter, you know, or a good a good test for you. And then you know, you still enjoy your time. You got some money in your pocket. You're having a good time. You take a break from all that to say, let me call out Eddie Chambers, like, or or, or call him a couple names and see what that does. Like, does, does that? I mean, honestly, does it? I'm talking to you. Does it make sense? Does it really make sense at all? Uh, I mean, uh, uh, listen, I, listen, Anthony Joshua could fight. He could fight anybody in the arena. The, the fact of the matter is he's got such, he, at this point in time, he could fight anybody and the people will pay to watch him fight. So he's in that sort of a position. Of course, people would, people would ask the question, well, why would you fight Chambers when you could fight Wilder? So, you know, why would you fight Chambers when you could fight Parker? People would ask that question. Yeah. But, you know, it stirs a it starts some controversy up. People are interested. Hey, people will see, well, you know, it's calling out your manhood. And then people will ask, well, are you a man? Are you going to take the fight or not? That's the question. That, that's what it comes down to. Are you, are you, are you going to take the fight are you, and are you going to go and try and handle business? Are you just going to leave it alone? Who we know? If, if, I, if they, I'm not, look, I, I've already said my piece. I've done everything I needed to do. I already explained I'm not I wasn't even thinking about this. Honestly, I was watching him and I watched the highlights of him and Takam and things like that. I wasn't even thinking about nothing like this to be honest. Not even close to thinking about this. And then I know where this happened. And, but hey, if the opportunity, like I said, was presented and it's worth it and it makes sense, absolutely I would be entertained. I'm definitely not I'm the idea of it is great and I'm entertaining on it. The idea and you know, making plans, you know, it's hard not to make plans in your head about, about how things will happen and how things will work out and where I would train and what I would be doing. You know what I mean? But there's a lot of factors that still play here. They got to, they got to, you know, make a, uh, they got to be, they got to, they got to go into their pocket and, 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 or go and actually talk with each other and figure out what they're going to do and how they're going to present, you know, a professional, you know, a contract here and send out what we got, what we, what, we, what are we going to do? What is this whole thing about? Now, I, beyond the fight thing, that obviously I definitely would be entertaining that, definitely. But why? And why go about it that way? Like, that just doesn't make any sense. We've you know, got a lot of, we've got people in, we've got people in the room and no. people are saying, I'll talk to um, Angel Blackwell X. He says, behind the glove, just publish a video where they verify it's AJ's account. Um, uh, Mr. Skeptical says it's not hard, just click on the account and then uh, uh, Angel Blackwell X says it again. Um, Brian L says Eddie is either far too nice for competitive sport or has been promised a payday by Hearn. No, I, 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 I,
I wasn't doing this, man. I, I know every, I, everybody has their ideas and how things work out and how things are playing out. I haven't talked to none of these people. None of my people that I know of have talked to any of these people. I haven't heard from Anthony Joshua, Twitter, f- uh, Facebook, Instagram, or otherwise in, since I was in the, in, in the UK. So this is not something that is no setup. And I'm not that kind of dude. I'm telling you, if they called me and said, well, let's try to do some things and start up something and let's make this thing happen, that's different. You know what I mean? But they didn't. I just, none of this was from, from my side at all. Trust me. You know what I mean? So what I'm trying to I'm just as, one, as, as, as perplexed as you are and as you guys are, like, what the heck is this? You know what I mean? It's just like, wow, out of nowhere. And then me? I'm like... I deserve this. Maybe I do. Maybe I've done something right in, in, in life. You know what I mean? You know, to get this kind of opportunity. But I, okay. I don't know, man. If, I mean, something has been said. You know, Eddie Hearn has said, nah, it's not his account. You know what I mean? Or and even if it is, or whatever, it was hacked, or whatever they were saying. So, you know, I don't know how, whether they're like, say they're, they're, they're deny- if they're denying it, then obviously there's something that there was a mistake. Something's something's going on here. Something's that, that, that we that we are we're not seeing has happened. You know what I mean? And but I, I still I, I I don't I don't know what I don't know what to expect from Eddie. This. And I'm really like Eddie, the Eddie, Eddie, the Eddie, 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 Eddie. All right, I'm I, I'm going to be Sherlock. Okay, I'm going to be Sherlock Holmes for a second. So we got to go. We'll start. From, we'll, we'll we'll go from the start. Is this or is this not AJ's account? Okay. Is this or is this not AJ's account, right? According to, according to people, they're saying it is his account. So if it is account, fine. So then, what exactly are you gonna do? What are you gonna do about it? Are you gonna? What will you? What are you gonna do about it? What can I do? I can't do that thing about it. Only I can do is say I'm available for discussion or. But he didn't say, I want to fight you, you bum. I, he just said, you <laughs> you know, you read it. I don't need to go through it again. I don't know what they're trying to say. I don't know what they're trying to set up. Okay, no, no. Now forget, forget, forget the Anthony Joshua train for one second. You... Hold on. We're just waiting for Eddie to get back. Eddie? Yes, right. Sir. Okay, forget the anti Joshua chain. Forget about what he says and forget about what he says and what he's doing. Let's talk about you. What do you want to do? Eddie, Eddie, Eddie's phone is blowing up. Hold on, people. We'll get Eddie back in a second. Eddie. I'm sorry. Uh, phone, 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 phone keeps ringing off the hook. Sorry about that. Okay, no problems. Right. So forget the, forget the train of what Joshua's done. So what do you want to do at this situation? Do you want to fight Anthony Joshua? No, 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 that's that, no, 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 we're asking, no, no, you're saying, this, you're talking like a politician, which, which, you're talking like a politician, right, and people are here listening, want to know, should Eddie Chambers, will, would Eddie Chambers fight Anthony Joshua, yes or no, that's what people want to know, so, would you fight him, you know, you said you'd consider it, you said, this is what I'm not saying, I'm not saying that you're going to offer me $10,000 or $20,000 and I'm going to come over there and fight him. That's not going to happen. And of course, you know that's not that's Of course. Going to be the case. Yeah. But what I'm saying is, if it makes sense, I'm more than happy to entertain that, op- that opportunity. Absolutely. Absolutely. That's what I'm saying. So, absol- so okay, all right. You know, if the money is right, now this is what they say. The, the, the famous saying in boxing is, I'll fight anybody in the world. But it has to be at the right price. Is it one of those ones? Absolutely. Right. It's prize fighting. It's right. Prize fighting. It's not prize fighting. It's 
fighting. It's not pride fighting. It's prize fighting. Okay. So, wow. Wow. so, so, so we're getting somewhere now. We're getting somewhere now. You're actually saying now, if this is real, you would fight him. And the only thing you're considering is how much you're going to get paid. Well, I feel like, yeah, I want to know the notice, where, when, how, you know what I mean? Okay, so how, so how long would you need to prepare before you would fight Joshua? What's well, it's championship fight, you know what I mean? <laughs> Likely, in the best case scenario, like, okay, well, let's set this up for, for May of next year. No, I can't do that, obviously. And I can't, it's not like it's a setup to where they're trying to make this a big thing between me and him. I was just be, being used. And that's understandable, and I'm okay with that. I'm, I'm alright with being on the B-side. I've been the B-side my whole career. But um, I just want ample time to try. You know what I mean? Come up with a couple dates, give me an idea, and we'll figure it out. You know what I mean? We'll, we'll put it together. That's 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 all I'm saying. I mean, I don't know what these... I don't know... And once again, like I said, if that was what they're after, why go about it that way? Well, because... Because... Wow, really? Because... 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 Because boxing... At this point in stage, an opportunity to drop you it's like a gold mine has landed on your doorstep almost. Yeah. If you think about it, you fight at the o you get to fight at the O2 Arena or Wembley or in the UK, and you know you know the pound talks, doesn't it? Right? So you in the UK fighting Anthony Joshua for an opportunity to become unified heavyweight champion of the world. Why not? Why why not go with it? What why why not go with the story? Why not say you know what? Yeah, it is his account. Let's have it. Let's let's make it happen. You know, someone's messing with Eddie's phone tonight for sure. Just waiting for Eddie to come back. And you already know what. It, you, it, already it, know, you already know what just happened. Keep it going. It is, it, it, is, is there, is there, yeah, is there a call coming from, um, is there a call from HQ yet? People are asking if you're getting a call from HQ. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> the conspiracy theory is all coming out. The conspiracy theory all, all coming out. People are, people are saying, oh, you know what? Uh, you're getting telephone calls now, and uh, possibly you're getting a call to make 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 your way to London. Hey, listen, I, uh, whatever. And honestly, at this point, man, like this is just out of nowhere, just an influx of crap. It's just, to me, this is all you are. It's like I said, this is a bunch of bull crap. This is like change your plans overnight. Like <laughs> it's just like this is crazy. But hold on, you know I mean? like, let I, let me. I've been let involved in this before. Here's something else. It's no, it's no secret that you were coming back, Eddie. You did. I, I knew you were coming back. I saw things about you training and making a, some sort of a comeback. I heard that through the grapevine. So, if I heard that through the grapevine, and I and I knew you were calling me out previously, then hey, why not call you out? You're coming back. You're in shape. You're getting your training. So hey, get the fight. Well, my man, listen to this. You're a heavyweight champ. What the hell do you have to call people out for? You're the heavyweight champion of the world. This is why it looks bad, right? People gun for the heavyweight champion. They don't gun for people who are supposed to not even be in the picture. Like, that doesn't make sense. It looks to me, I don't know what other people think. And I guess at this point in time, and the way things are in this era in boxing in general, and in general, Whatever, but it to me it looks like wait, you you're not supposed to be calling out people. You never wait, wait, Eddie, 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 Eddie. In the hit, you understand you 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 understand the history of boxing and opportunities. I mean, you you sound like a man that's pretty fed. You sound like a man that's pretty fed. You sound like a man that is, you know, not that hungry. I mean, that's what people sound because like, people say Ed, Anthony Joshua did that. People would think, hold on. Well, all right, if it's true. 
If it's not true, I don't give a shit. I'll make it true, and I'll make it. I'll make it out to be something. I'll go to every media, and I'll tell everybody I want Anthony Joshua. I want Anthony Joshua. My entire career, when they came to me and oh, we got you to fight with uh, Calvin Brown, or we got you to fight with Dominic Quinn, or we got you to fight with Sam Peter, I'm, I'm like, oh, okay, that's how I am. I'm not, it just, I'm not. Oh my God, yeah, no, I'm not doing that because it's a boxing spot fight. You know what I mean? I'm gonna keep the same attitude, the same personality, the same level of of excitement when I'm in there is. When I get the call. Look. You know what I mean? I'm, I'm very calm, very relaxed. Even, I'm, listen, I'm, even. I'm not overly excited or crazy. You don't see that. You know what I mean? You'll see an emo some emotion come out every now and again as far as, you know, with the excitement of the fight. But I'm still going to be me. I'm going to go with my style. And that's just how things are. You know even, what I mean? Like I said, I'm, it's, not, it's not that I'm not hungry for the opportunity. But look at what the situation is. I haven't fought in over a year. And all of a sudden, this comes out of nowhere. What I'm supposed to do with this seasoned, young, big guy, he comes out of nowhere. He comes to me now. Like, come on. Like, how, how would you feel? How would I feel? You if I, 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 how would I feel? You were ready. You were shredded. You were ready to rock. And all of a sudden, and back in the day, you was offering them everything. I'll take no money. I'll do whatever it takes to fight you. Now I'm good. And then wait. Oh, now? Oh, now you want to come talk to me? Now? After all of that? After, after some years have gone by, listen, I'm not stupid. You know what I mean? But at the same time, I will accommodate you. I will do what you need me to do. But it's not going to be on any emotional shit. It's going to be if it makes sense. And that's how business is supposed to be done. You're not supposed to do it on emotion. You're supposed to do it off for reason and for, for, for position. Listen. And it's, it says a lot of that. Don't get me wrong. But it got to make sense. 36 minutes can make a whole load of sense. If you become a unified champion, it makes a whole load of sense. Yes, no, it definitely makes a lot of sense in that. Yeah. Okay, okay, okay. All right, all right. We, we, we you know. That part has not been argued. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But at the same time, I'm not going in there like a lot of these other guys are. I'm not going in here just to go ahead and just, you know, shoot the breeze and throw a couple of shots and take a couple of shots and, you know, be sent on my way with a couple of dollars. No, I'm going in there to win the fight. And that's just the way it is. You know what I mean? And with it. Whatever that means, however that means. And that's why I'm saying if this was thing was to be set up, let's set it up right. You know what I mean? Yeah, you want bigger, better things. Okay, that's great. I'm fine with that. You know what I mean? But give me an opportunity to go ahead and get the shot that you, that if you come out saying all this crap, then at least give me the right opportunity to train and, 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 and so we can put something together that's quality and put it out to the fans. Not that some, not that, like we've seen with the other guy with Savern. You know what I mean? No, come on. That's not what trying to put out here that's not what i'm trying to be a part of not at all so you know if we want to do it just do it right okay so you so you want to so you're saying that if aj wants to fight you you, you want to obviously it will be done but the negotiation will be done behind closed doors anyway aj doing the contract that's not it but people just they just want to find out whether you probably want the fight or not whether you really want it or maybe you've been spooked that's it Listen, man, I mean, he's tough and everything, and he's, he's, he's doing some good things, and he's got all the knockouts and all that, you know, that's, I guess that's scary, but, I mean, listen, this is boxing, I've been fighting big guys my entire career, and, you know, I've had some success, and I've had some failures, I mean, and that's just the way it is, but, I mean, I'm not scared, <laughs> like, by this, this is something that has been going on, like I said, my entire career, what makes this any different? You know what I mean? This only thing that this says is it's a great opportunity, and I'm just looking forward to it if it's actually a, a real possibility. It makes real sense. You know what See, I mean? That's all I mean. there are people on here. Not, there are people on. There are people. There are people listening to this going, "Oh, it's not. Fa it's fake. It's not real." If it's not fake, it's not real. I, either way, if it was in situation. And you, I was a box, a professional boxer, and that had happened to myself. And I was a heavyweight, and I had a decent name as a heavyweight. And there was an opportunity to fight for the heavyweight championship of the world. Mm -hmm. I'd jump on the coattail of that. Yeah. I'd take well, the opportunity. Could, I you know what I could have done is I could have just not said anything, just kept the DM to myself. So, all right. I could have done that. So, all right. Because this, this, this conversation wouldn't even be happening. 
that so all right well, 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 well no but yeah but you've put your business out there so because you put your business out there questions will be asked right and that's why i'm in there and i'm answering them that's way I possibly can. The same way I would be answer, answering them if I was in his position. You know what I'm saying? I'd be answering them the exact same way if I was in his position. I'd be answering them the same exact way, obviously, is that I'm that I'm doing right now. Is, I'm, is, I'm is, not, is, the big people I'm, people people would find quite be quite find it's quite dis disheartening or di you seem disconnected from what's going on. What I mean by that is looking at it from an outsider looking in. You have been out of the ring for X amount of time. Your last fight was against um, Joe Washington, a fight that you didn't look great in. Okay, fine. So you've you've gone away. There's been a year, you've almost a year or so. We've not heard from you. And congratulations, by the way, to to be married. By the way, that's uh, fantastic. I'm glad to hear about that. Um, so you, you you know you talk you, you've talked about or shown that you're going to make a comeback. Okay. Yeah. And then this message comes out from instagram if it's fake or it's real the opportunity of a lifetime to become heavyweight champion of the world you jump all the jump anybody everybody to be number one to get a fight against anthony joshua deservedly or not you have the opportunity there People want to hear Eddie Chambers saying, you know what, whether this is fake or it's not, I'm ready. That's what people want to hear. People want, that's what people want to hear. They, people want to hear that. People really don't want to, I'm just being, being, just being honest with people. People don't want to hear, well, you know, I would consider it if, you know, that, that sounds to me, it's like there are other options, there are other things on the table, you know, or, you know, it's, no, you know, I'm. I feel like the way I'm, like the way I'm saying it is, is, is maybe a little upsetting to, to people because it's like, no, it's, it's a world title shot. Yeah, I had one before. Things didn't work out. You know what I mean? And this is great. And yeah, I'm getting offered it. I'm not nowhere near. I'm like, this is a different level. I'm at a different level than, than I was at the time. I feel like in a lot of ways I'm better, but I feel like in some ways I need to improve. But my thing is, yeah, it's an opportunity. You know, most people are looking at it as anything can happen in there. You know what I mean? And I want to make sure I'm 100% prepared. And like I said, I told you, this is my way. I'm not going to be like standing on the top of the Empire State Building screaming, yeah, oh, wait, I need you. no, that's not me. I'm not well, wait, wait, you, don't, you don't have to do an Empire. Wait, wait, wait. wait. You don't you. have to. Huh? And you don't have to do it at the Empire State Building. You can do it on BWTM Sports. Yeah, you know I mean. <laughs> no, no, no. I don't know what you mean because you could do it here on BWTM Sports. You don't need to be on top of the Empire State Building. Yeah, King Kong will do that stuff. You could do that stuff on BWTM Sports. Yeah, no, I know. But, I, but listen, what I mean, well, basically what I'm saying is, is that, yes, this is an opportunity of a lifetime. Yes, it's an opportunity that hell, hell, I'll be looking for. You know, everybody gets that whole thing about remember the Mike Tyson talk. Everybody always had, you know, man, I'll take a fight with Mike Tyson. I take one shot and drop. <laughs> I'm not doing that. I'm not doing that. You know, if it happens, hey, that's just really happens. You know what I mean? But it's going to be he gonna have to knock down or knock out somebody in the first round who's 100 percent prepared for his ass. That's what I'm saying. Okay. You know what I mean? would, so let me ask you okay let me, let me let's talk about logistics would you consider would you go back and train with peter fury for the fight against joshua there'd be a lot of things obviously i would you know i would be open to train with him. that's my that's my people of course that's always an option you know what i mean there's a few different options i have for that you know what i mean but that's definitely a a a, a a big option something that i you know thinking about and just thinking about the opportunity came if it's real yeah, absolutely. Oh. Something like that. Like I said, I have other options as well that I'm thinking. I mean, there's, you know, I still, I'm, I'm home obviously now. You know what I mean? But this fight will be in the UK. But I'm home now. You know what I mean? My, the, uh, the one I had that was going to have training me was actually going to be, with, you know, along with Coach Amp was our uh, last year. Okay. Last year. So you know, that's another option that I had. 
But like I said, once this is ironed out, we're gonna figure out what we're gonna do and how we're gonna go about it. You know what I mean? But you know, like I said, Peter and, and you know Tyson, they're, they're my people. And that's for life. So you know, what I mean, that's something that you know that's always a, a door that I hope is open. <laughs> now, I, I I I have to. I have to stop you there. Yep. A Bish training with Bashir is fantastic. Training with Peter Fury is fantastic. That sounds great. But th there can't be any other option on the table than fighting the heavyweight champion of the world. Really. Honestly. Uh, I didn't say no. Uh, I mean, if that's, if that's an actual option. Well, yeah, well, let's talk it as it is an option. Huh? Let's talk it as it is an option. Talk about it being viable. That's Okay, so let, 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 let's, let's, uh, let's sort of close this chapter off for now. A message to Eddie Hearn that's listening. What's the message to Eddie Hearn that's listening at the moment? Oh, so to Eddie Hearn, look, at the end of the day, like I, I said it already 10, 10, 10 times on there already, you know what I mean? If you guys really are interested in this kind of this opportunity, this fight, you know what I mean, with the opportunity for me more than him. Um, you know, come, come go about it the right way. Professionalism, you get, to get in contact with me and my, me and my team and, and we'll put together some kind of uh, contract and see what we can do and, and, and give me a time, a day, you know, you know what I mean? Uh, and just let's figure it out. If it's a real statement, if it's something he's really interested in, then let's go about it in a professional manner. That's all I'm saying. Well, it seems from various interviews, it seems that Eddie's got one idea of things and Anthony's got another idea of things. So maybe talk to Anthony Joshua. He seems to be the man that's in control of his career. So, uh, yeah, it see, that's what it seems like to me. Yeah. Now, he's, he's definitely, well, he, I feel like this. I mean, at this point, he feel like if, if, that, if he said that, then he feels like it doesn't matter what he does at this point. He's above, he's above everything, you know, as far as. You know, he doesn't think that him sending that makes him look any kind of way. And if it does, he doesn't care. He's the heavyweight champ of the world. He can do no wrong. And that's fine. You know what I mean? But still yet, I'm talking to Eddie Hearn. But, you know, let him just do his kid thing or whatever. <laughs> and have Eddie Hearn contact us and, and, and come up with something that makes sense. And we'll figure it out. What about, what? what's your message to AJ and his friends if they're listening? I don't have anything negative, positive, or anything to say about him. You know what I mean? I just, if the opportunity is there, we, let's get it in. That's what I'm saying. If the opportunity is there, if it's something that's real, let's go. And nobody from Matchroom has contacted you? No. No. Like I told you before, and a lot of people that were saying, oh, this is this full crap, it's fake. No, I'm telling you, man, they haven't said anything. You know what I mean? And that's what made me think this was so crazy. And I was like, I don't even know if it would be really him. But if it is him, well, great. But if it's not, I mean, it's kind of what I expected. But no, I haven't heard anything. The only thing I've seen, I've seen Eddie Hearn saying no. They're not even counting. Basically trying to deny it. You know, maybe they did have plans of contacting me. But I didn't want to go about it that way. And maybe that's why he declined, you know, he denied it. But look, we'll see. Okay. Well, I think we've exhausted every angle possibly. As to where you train, who you possibly train with, to negotiations, you just want to get paid fairly. That's what it is. You're going to be treated right and paid fairly. That's all. I think that's for any fighter. Uh, there are people that believe that you're people. There are people on in the room that believe that you're covering things up and have conspiracy theories that you you know there's an inside joke going on. That's what people think. No, no, I'm, I'm, you know, you know, I'm a nice guy. You know, I'm, you know, I'm not really trying to go through all this, and I'm not mad. I don't want to see. But what I don't understand is what what is the purpose of if of if it didn't if it wasn't if it didn't mean that much to you, then why didn't you just why do you have to show everybody the, the message if it didn't mean that much to you? Well, you could have just kept no. it and nobody would have known anything about it. We wouldn't have had this conversation. Your name is back in the news. My, fr my first uh, my first thought was when I seen it, I was like, this is weird. 
And then I'm thinking that somebody probably messing with his account. You know what I mean? But then I said, should I feel any kind of way as I had? And I was, I was about to just literally just let it go. But then, you know, I took it to, you know, and who's my, you know, trainer, he's been working with me. And we talked about it. He's real close to me. So we talked about it. Like, oh, man. And, you know, of course, <laughs> I jumped out of his shoes, basically. I was like, look, if this is true, and he said this, man, this is an opportunity. You know what I mean? If they wanted to kind of make something, you know what I mean? Let's 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 maybe put something together. You got to put it out there with the people know. You know what I mean? And, and, and I mean, I'm, you know, I'm going to different people and trying to figure out what what I need to really do with it. You know, this is all in the span of a few hours. You know what I mean? But it was, uh, and then, you know, at the end of the day, it was like, we got to put it out there. And then I'm interested in figuring it out. And we didn't get a response back after the last message was sent, you know, that I sent. So I didn't know what was going on. And I'm just, I was actually trying to get in touch with them to find out what the hell that was about. So wait. Have you used this situation for publicity? Yes or no? Say again. Have you used this? Have you used it for? Have you used it for publicity? I was, I was so cool right now. Even I'm not making a whole lot of money or nothing like that. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm good, but I'm not making no like crazy money. So I'm not saying that you know this wouldn't be great for me. But dog, I don't, I don't care about that shit for real that much. You know what I mean? I was ha just as happy, like, and I was getting excited. I'm getting excited, you know, excited about the prospects of fighting at a weight that is good for me and, and, and trying to get comfortable with the idea. It's a project. You understand what I'm saying? Something to be excited about. And that's what the whole Cruiserweight thing was, is for me. You know, I say was because now this shit comes up and kind of derails that. But <laughs> I guess it's a great thing that it did happen. But still, you know, I was cool with it. That's a publicity bullshit, man. I don't need that shit, man. I mean, I'm well, wait, wait, if, wait, wait, wait. If you didn't, if you didn't need it, then why did you put your business out in public? Because you, you, you're a wise enough, you're a smart enough guy, Eddie. You'd know if you put this shit out in public. No, once again, I said if this was if if I got this message, right, and I said and I didn't sing, like I didn't talk to anybody, and then get an idea what what I should do. And think about, man, well, you still want to fight. Well, this is what you need to do. This, is what, You know what I mean? Like, I'm not saying that this is something that I was pushed to do. Don't get me wrong. Yeah, I put it out there. But I'm talking to these people. And I'm, I would have been just as happy. I'm, I am shit you not. Not sending that shit out. But I figure, well, hell, let's see what happens. Let's see what this means. Let's see what, I, what this can bring. All right. You know All what right. I mean? And I'm so serious about that. Okay. Like, I'm not. I wasn't looking for publicity. I wasn't looking to, to go out there and say, oh, you look. I want to fight now. You know, I need eight million. Or oh, none of that crazy shit. That's not my style. That's not me. I'm not. I wasn't doing it for that reason. Trust me. Anybody who knows me closely will tell you that is not me at all. In fact, my wife will tell you. Sometimes I'm I'm more have to give some shit than to get. So that, but that's just how I've been. That's just me. You know what I mean? But uh, the opportunity is here. If that, if it is, then I'm I'm open to it. But it was not for no damn publicity, publicity at all. I'm just as happy going and trying to learn how to play basketball and have fun in the gym. So like what, what what did you say to Eddie Hearn? What was it? Because it seems to be kind of Jekyll and Hyde. Joshua is stay humble, but yet we see recently he's made a few comments to Tyson and, and a few comments uh, to other people as well. And, you know, now we have it. Now we have yourself in this situation and I, I, what I, I still don't understand is the message that you put on Instagram in response to if it's AJ or not, the response to that Instagram post that was sent to you about you being a disgrace, you responded to that, that, that Instagram page with a lot of fire, a lot of passion, and like somebody who wanted a fight. The person I'm listening to here sounds like a politician. I gotta, I gotta, I gotta look out for. See, I don't want to sound, and, and and I don't want to sound that way because I'm not that way. Well, I'm I sorry. I, 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 listen. I'm being real with you, bro. And you know I'm as real as they come. You sound like a politician. You sound like a man that is, you know, uh, trying to trying to kind of like back up and people and, and and people say, well, okay, that sounds to me like someone that is either been bought off or somebody who is ain't so sure of themselves or somebody that. Nah, man. Oh. You know, no, this guy's a bit. And then, it, then the things that Joshua said about you, 
it, or, or supposedly he said about you, and the, whoever it was that said about you in that Twitter or that, that Instagram message, whoever said it, whether it was him or not, oh. then the oh, things they've know. said. Okay. All right. Well, in that case, guess what? You know what? Now you want. We need to get you mad. So guess what? You can encourage everybody on on Twitter, everybody on Twitter, and on Facebook, and across social media. We need to get any any chambers mad. So the way to get any chambers mad is to sit on your ass and to point fingers and tell any chambers what he's doing wrong. Then you're getting pissed off, and then maybe he won't be so diplomatic. And then we'll get the real Eddie Chambers out, and then maybe we'll find if you really do want to take this fight on. Because people just want to hear if you want to take the fight on. But, but, yo, you know, I, I, I said it. I mean, I don't, wanna, I don't know how to be more, like, you know, I haven't been about it. I just, this is, I, you know, I can't. I'm, listen, listen. Am. All right, let me, look, wait. Hey, listen, huh? if, what, what would happen? Uh, what would happen if Peter Fury was in the room with you now and he saw that message? What would he say? What do you think he'd say to you? Especially at that time, we were trying, what, man? He would, we, first of all, that would, I don't think that would have came through at that point because <laughs> they knew, you know, they, they had an eye basically in there. Not saying that there was anybody in our camp or nothing like that, but what I'm saying is they just knew that what we were doing. They knew that I was in, in their training. I'm always smart with Tyson and, and Huey and the guys, and we're, and we're like, 24 7 getting it in and working and making sure it was all so i don't think that would have came at that time you know what i mean but he would have said tomorrow he's like you want to talk that shit now you would have said tomorrow right like, like, get on the, he would have been calling eddie i'm telling you I'm just, I, 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 he would have like weird because at that point we were ready to go and or in two weeks we'd have been taking that damn fight that's how that's how it would have been back then but that's then this is a different Hello? Eddie's disappeared again. <laughs> yeah, that was because I got another call. Was it Eddie Hearn this time? No. No, I said it. 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 But uh, nah, none of that, none of that came through. It was, a, it was another local call. <laughs> another local call. How local? Yeah. yeah. I have people asking questions and wanting to know what's going on. <laughs> well, Eddie, Eddie, listen, listen. I, I've done the best that I can do tonight, yeah, to give you so many outs. I've given you, I've given you about ten different ways to get yourself out and say I want Anthony Joshua and. It, it, no matter what I've put there, I mean, listen, it, it's Christmas come early for you, literally. <laughs> you. Listen, listen. I'm not going to be bowing down to him or even calling his, calling his name out. Like I said, I'm not, I don't care about that shit, man. Okay, all right. Oh, oh, that sounds a bit more. If we're going to fight, we're going to fight. That sounds a bit better now. Now that sounds a bit better. That sounds better. Right. Now, <laughs> what was the purpose of putting that video out for the whole of the world to know your business that's what i want to know what was what did you what did you want what's the end game in that eddie I, no it wasn't the only the only it came is the fact 
find out what the hell was going on and why it was set. So you could have found you. Wait, wait. The, well, hold on. You didn't need to tell the whole world that. You could have just got on the phone, or you could have you could have texted the person back. He said, "What the hell is this all about?" And sorted it out there. I listen. I know that uh, business has happened before between two two people and conversation that we had that was not made public to the press. But they are sorting their business out behind closed doors over the telephone. Two men, one man said one thing, another man said something else. And then and one man said to another man, if you want to sort it out, then let's sort it out. That's how two grown men or professional fighters deal with the situation. If you've got a problem with me, let's sort it out. And that's what your sport is about, sorting the business out inside the ring. It's what it is. It's not, um, it's not politics. Right, it's no, it, it is what it is. A man's called you out, you know, supposedly called you out, and it said you're this, you're that, you're this, you're that, and your turn said, well, yeah. I, 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 I will, you know, I would consider it. I mean, if if the price is right, and uh, nah, they, I mean, again, people, yeah. I'm trying to, I'm trying to, you know, for me, I'm just as your brother, I'm trying to say to you, like, people listen to this and want to get behind the Eddie Eddie Chambers train and like eddie for god's sake just take the damn or for god's sake just say something eddie sensational and eddie's like well you know people want sensationalism this is the world we're in for me it's just telling you the truth and how i feel right now and and just what we just how we've been talking that is it i'm not that dude ever if i knew i was going to knock you out in the first second of the first round, if I knew it, if I could see the future, I still wouldn't talk like that. I still wouldn't do it. That's not my style. It has never been. I've never been over, overly like demonstrative and attitude and just the bigger than life mouth. I don't have that. I have a fight game, but I don't have the mouth and I don't need it. I don't feel like I need that. Then all you have to the Eddie, relay information to you in the most intelligent way possible. I don't feel I need to do that. Then Eddie, you have to. Ed, ed, people think I do. That's that's too bad. Then Eddie, then then Eddie, no, but Eddie, you could, you could, you, could, you, could, you it's very, it, you don't have to do all that. You could just say, if he wants me, he knows where to find me. That's it. No big thing. Just. Hey, but, uh, it, Exactly what I basically on so many words said that. No, 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 no. You sound like a politician. You didn't say if he wants me, he knows where to find me. That's it. That's it. If he wants me, he knows where to find me. You know what I'm saying? All I'm saying is, you know how to get a call. I said that. I said Eddie Hearn. The message I said to Eddie Hearn, same thing. And I was basically saying in so many words that. In fact, like I said, it was even more, I think, Okay, more... Uh, okay, okay. Let, let's wrap this situation up then. Okay, Messi let's let's clean it up and let's get it sorted again. Message to Eddie Herm. This is it. Go. Hold on one second. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Okay, go ahead. This is it. Go ahead, Eddie. I say it again. Right. Message to Eddie Hearn. Go ahead. No, the message to Eddie Hearn was just like the one I gave before. You know what I mean? Oh crap, man. Oh, man. I got stuff going on here. But anyway, um, it'll be the same thing. Look, if there is anything, if anything was meant by this, it was done purposely. If they wanted some kind of fight or to create some kind of situation to where we're exchanging punches in the ring, I'm all for it. It just has to make sense. Get in contact with me. That's fine. That's it. That's more like him. And to and and and, and if it is AJ, then and if it is him, then that's great. I ain't got nothing to say this. <laughs> I mean, do it. If that's the way he had to go about it, then hey, stay. You can do the childish stuff. That's fine with me. I'm a grown man. I don't do stuff like that. Well, it's cool. We, and, and all that talking on the outside is not really that big of a deal anyway. And I seen him in the past. He's not. He didn't seem like he was talking that much crap in his career, which has been good. I actually respected that. He just did his work in the ring. But 
hey, you know, it is what it is. Maybe you, you know, get a little more confidence and then you just got to get out there with it. That's fine. Go ahead. Do your thing. Do you. Cool. All right. Fine. So very, before we just to end, talk a bit about your uh, old uh, stable mate, um, Dave Allen, and his career. Uh, it's like, I just know how much talent that he has. A lot of people don't see it. You know what I mean? Because they, you know, they kind of, I wasn't trained with him, not smart with it, or they don't have the eye to see it. But he has a lot of talent. He has a lot of different things. He has a pop, the punching power. You know, he's, he has, definitely has a toughness to, to, to be and to move into a world level. You know what I mean? It's just, you know, sometimes... Oh, sorry about that. Man. Sorry, Eddie. Go ahead. Anyway, um, it's just these opportunities. Um, and and you know, it's like I said, he sees the he sees these opportunities, and he wants to take them on short notice. And a lot of times, you know, that obviously will set you back. And I think that's what happened with him. You know what I mean? It's like he he would be like in this situation, like he ready to take it the next t- tomorrow night type thing you know what i mean and, and maybe that might be the best idea to get us money in his pocket but it won't give him the, the you know he won't be able to be a credible opponent for him and win the fight and that was always my issue with dave but he has the ability he just i just want him to i would just love him to get in the camp like he had with, with us and, and peter and uh and do his thing that way and i'm not gonna nothing's guaranteed but i would be i would definitely expect him to do you know great things you know in boxing Okay, and Tyson Fury, the return. Tyson Fury, already, he's already uh, at the top, at, at the uh, at the elite pinnacle of the sport. You know, even and and the funny thing is, I I know him. I've seen him when he's out of shape and how he gets back in shape, and he still is the same. And he's really he has really no shutdown. His body's just it's just weird how somebody that big to compete they can work that hard and be that athletic. You know what I mean at times and. Um, I feel like all it would take for him is just to have the right motivation, you know what I mean, to really, really want to get back in there and start shutting these guys up, you know, so he can start talking loud again, you know what I mean, because, you know, that's his style. But um, I think he would be, at this point, I think he would be both of those guys, no disrespect to them, you know what I mean, I think Joshua and Wilder were the two top guys, and and, and, and Joseph Parker, well, I think I'd like Joseph Parker and what he's able to do in the ring, but I just don't think that any of those guys have ever touched Tyson, to be honest. What? I can say that because I've been in, in, I've definitely been in front of him a lot. And I know how difficult it's been. And I've been in with some of the best. What about Huey Fury in his fight against Parker? What were your thoughts on that? Honestly? Yeah. I, I just saw a whole lot of missed shots and a lot of good boxing. I mean, now, I'm a little bit biased, no question, and I know a lot of people would think so in this regard, but, I, you know, and then the scorecards were so weird. You know what I mean? It was like, what the hell? <laughs> you know, like, I mean, it was it was just weird. But um, um, I liked him in the fight. I liked what he did. I liked how he boxed. You know what I mean? I liked how he stayed on the outside. Like I said, he made him miss a lot of punches. But, you know, the judges had it their way. I don't agree with it, but, I mean, what can you do? You know, I mean, you could try to protest, you could try to do this, you could try to do that, but honestly, if, if they overturn these things, it'll, it'll just, like, you have to do a lot of things in history, man, and change a lot of decisions out there, at least protest a lot of these decisions, and that just, you know, it, it, I guess it, really, it brings out a lot of crap They could be, it, it was in the past that I guess we want to forget, but anyway, I just, like, I, like I said, I, I, those guys are, are, are really top level, and I want to see them do well. Okay, fair enough, Eddie. Um... One last question I must ask. People are asking it, and I'm really the question they're asking is whether the whole Instagram thing was sent. You, you put it out there and was paid some money to put it out there. Uh, paid somebody to put it out there? No, somebody paid, paid you money. to put put that stuff out there. Paid me? Yes. <laughs> if they, I would love for that to be the case. I'd get some extra money. I mean, was that'd be nice to have a little extra pocket change, man? No. Trust me, no, that's not the case. Trust me, this was an internal thing done between us, my people, and me. We we came up with this. It was nothing to do with any outside stuff. I mean, I know it seems like it's kind of it's so weird me being involved in something like this because I'm so so I'm such a normal person. I don't do this type of shit, and I don't a lot of stress this to people, but I don't do this type of thing. 
This is not something. I'm not a dramatic dude. I don't. I'm not for the dramatic. I'm. I'm completely. I don't. My emotions are. You know. It's, it's, I'm just different, man. I'm not. You know. I'm not like a lot of the. Uh, you know. And I ain't gonna say that because I'm, I'm gonna keep politically politically correct and going. But I'm just not like a lot of guys nowadays. Let's just say that. I just. I don't do that type of stuff. I'm not a gossiper. I'm not. You know. I'm not like that. So no, that was not my intention. And, and like, I'm not trying to seek attention. No. Uh, I, I, I'll have to leave it there, Eddie. Um, I'm sure that if you, if there's anything else, if if you suddenly in the middle of the night you get cold sweats, give me a call. Eddie, 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 I'm going to say to you, you know where I am, you know my number, you know where I am. If there's any developments on this situation, let me know. Don't let me, don't let me, don't let me find out via social media something else has developed and Eddie Chambers is on his way to London and find you on Sky Sports News and Eddie Chambers is in Sky Sports News now talking about a potential fight with him and Anthony Joshua. Exciting times ahead. Eddie Chambers. Anthony Joshua, mouth-watering contest. I I don't want to be seen that, right? I don't want to be the last to know. So, let me know. But I'm gonna say the way things have happened, and I remember in the past, man, I was getting ready for Klitschko and all that. I swear, it at times seemed like stuff was going past my head at 100 miles an hour, and it was just like I'm just like flowing everywhere. Just it, it was just like constant barrage of people and things and and voices. It was it's, it's an, and and if somebody was in that position, has ever been in that kind of a position, they would understand what I'm talking about. It was just like. Things were going so fast. Yeah. Everything was going so fast. Sometimes you just want to get into an area where everything slows down. But you know what? You know, do you know, what, do you know the one thing I cannot I cannot understand about people on social media? This is what I don't this is what I don't get. People say, I don't want to see I don't want to see Joshua fight chambers. But yet they're so interested to listen to his interview. They're so interested to do it on YouTube. They're so interested to listen to what you have to say. They're so interested to see what Joshua's got to say, but they don't want to see the fight. Have you ever heard such dumb shit? I don't get that. You know what? I, I don't get that. That I don't get. It's just, like, it's just like you said. It's like you said, he could be fighting somebody's sister. You know what I mean? And, and, and so out the arena, they, they, they just want to see him. But they just, be, just for giggles, they just want to kind of see how the other side thinks about it, what they think about it. And that's all this is. You know what I mean? It's like when I fought Vladimir, it was the same thing for the most part. You know what I mean? The top people, even even boxing people, you know, they didn't give me a chance. And, then, you know, I guess rightfully so, but, you know, they didn't give me a chance in it. You know what I mean? But these people still wanted to know what I thought about it. They wanted to see if I spoke well enough to, to get it out, I guess, get it out there to them, you know, yeah. what I was feeling and how I was feeling, you know, about the whole situation. It's no different here. You know, these people just want to know. Because, you know, it's a... It's a humans we're humans we, we, we connect the things you know what i mean and, and you know in each, in each other and i feel like in that you know they want to hear what i'm saying and hey there's a few people out there that's probably hearing me talk and hearing some of the things that i'm saying and they really are maybe connecting to what i'm saying they understand where i'm coming from because maybe they've been in similar situations maybe not at this scale or, or in this sport but they've have they've seen it so there's some connection there so then maybe i get some people supporting me on that and but at the end of the day like i said man this whole thing is just you know this is this is all, all about Anthony Joshua, and I'm fine with that. 
You know what I mean? That's obviously I've been if I've been fine with that my entire career. You know what I mean? And I have, I've had success behind it. So we'll see what happens, man. That's all we can do. Eddie Chambers, once again, thank you so much for talking to BWTN Sports. And like I said, you know where I am. You know where my num you know my number. Don't forget it. Don't forget how to dial it. Don't forget how to send a text message. Let me know. All, all right. right. <laughs> you know I got you. I'm there. <laughs> all right, chap. You take care and uh, we'll speak soon. Yes, sir. Take care, champ. All the best. Bye bye. So, people, I've I have drilled Eddie Chambers every which way. Um, you can only do so much. You can ask somebody so much a question, and at the end of the day, they have to. Um, they they can only reply in the way that they are. I don't people suggesting that it's fake? What he's saying, I don't think it's fake. I think it is Eddie Chambers um but um fascinating to listen to anyway um whether it's fake or not if it were me in that position as eddie is as a heavyweight heavyweight contender and heavyweight champion wrote that stuff about me i don't know but um we'll soon find out what's going on whether it's fake or not for eddie chambers it's great publicity it's great publicity for his career and i think christmas has come early because in his position he definitely needed some extra publicity he really did and that has been like that's like christmas or that's christmas early for eddie chambers so no matter what eddie chambers does now he'll be attached to that situation of aj even if it's 15 minutes of fame if i were him i would go run with it um and anybody who was anybody who thinks the, the, I understand fans. I understand why fans would say, hey, I don't want to see Eddie Chambers fight Anthony Joshua. I get it. These are the same people that said Takama get blown out in two rounds. I don't really want to hear that so much. I think that Eddie Chambers is far more skilled than um, that. But I do think as a fighter, and this is from a fighter's perspective, not the fans, not, not the people that are not going to put money in their pockets to pay to see the fight. But for the fighter who's trying to make a living and wants to become heavyweight champion of the world, an opportunity like this is probably like gold dust. So whereas you might not want to see it, you're effectively saying, I don't want Eddie to get paid or any other fighter to get paid. And, you know, that some fighters take offense to that. Some fighters don't give a damn. My point is this. I think that if, it's, if it was fake, if it was real, if I were in Eddie Chambers position, I would take it. And I'd run with it and run with it and run with it to see how far I could take it, to see whether I could get that fight with Joshua on the basis of some sort of discrepancy or bad feeling between one another. You know, that was just my thoughts on it. Um, whether it's fake or not, I don't know. People saying it is fake. Other people saying it's not fake. We brought you the Eddie Chambers interview. So that's what it is, I guess. This has been BWTM Sports. Don't forget to rate, subscribe as always, leave your comments. Um, and uh, share the video. I get the feeling this is not the last we've heard of this situation. <clears throat> and I suspect that we'll be hearing more of Eddie Chambers um, this week. Or oh, next week, may I say. Thank you again for watching. Um, the conspiracy theories will, will run wild. Some people say that Eddie Hearn was sitting right next to Eddie Chambers when he did the interview. Others will say that Eddie got paid. I don't know. I don't know. I um, I do. This would have been so much easier for Eddie Chambers had he just not put it out on social media. If he just didn't put his business out, he could have just kept it quiet. I know um, that, um, you know, other fighters <clears throat> have had their words behind closed doors. I, I didn't understand why it was being downplayed so much by Eddie. I, I didn't understand that. I would have taken the opportunity. It's free publicity. I mean, to get bought off like that, I don't know. But we'll see. We'll see. I mean, the, uh, the Gerald Washington performance was, <clears throat> well, y y you just question yourself as to what, what that was all about. Uh, yep, yeah, Mike, you're right. 
Chambers has put his business out and now he has tons of questions to answer. He, his phone's going to be off the hook now. He's going to be buzzing. And he'll probably regret putting it out there, but maybe he won't. Maybe people will watch his career more to see what's going to happen. I don't know. But that's it from us tonight. Thank you all so much for tuning in. Um, I'm sure by the time this video is over, it'll be more than 54 people that's watched it. That's just YouTube once again lying, as it does all the time. Thank you all so much for watching. This has been BWTM Sports. Again, bring you another exclusive. Take care.